Hello everybody, so finally back at this uh, Vauxhall, there you go, Vauxhall Movano, and you remember I had the P062F with an EEPROM fault code, so I've had some hassle with this car, so what I'll just show you, I finally got it cleared, let's hope it stays that way, exit, uh, the only know where to go, complete set, although, if you notice that, I'm still not getting a map reading, I don't know why that is, but we can forget that at the moment, I, I was chasing my tail with that one. So we'll go to the previous menu just to prove that I've cleared the code and then I'll tell you how I've done it. So we're going to this, read codes, so store codes, there's zero. And then I go to pending, which this code always came back in the pending straight away. So you can see there, no module codes are pending. And you can see, beautiful, beautiful, that the engine management light is off. So what I had to do, and I'll maybe... The Autel was the only one that would do this. Now, a big shout out, uh, thanks to Stephen Patterson, who is up at the Krypton Garage in Bathgate, in Falkirk. He was a real big help to me here. It was Steve Scott who put me onto him, so I'll show you what we've done here in the Autel. Rather than go through Vauxhall, we had to go through Renault, so I'll wait now. I'll have to disconnect. So back, I've now got my machine. I think it's the right machine plugged in the hotel. So, as I said, I had to go through Renault, so I went like this. So there's Renault there. And now, the first time, I think you've seen it, it would not auto-scan. But I ended up changing the battery, which is under there. And I think that's made all the difference. I think a low battery corrupted the module. So I go auto-select, I then go read the module, a nightmare. So we read it, so we go OK. So you can pick any gearbox you like. I'll just go that one. But here's the most important thing. It's coming up as a master PH3. Uh, and the engine is G9U. So that is spot on. So we'll go yes. So I had to go into hot function. Now let me see. I had to go into hot function. And I had to re-encode the injectors again. Because I had, I had put ECU uh, reconfigure or something like that. So let me see if the injector codes are just in here. They'll already be here. But I had to put them back in again, so OK. So you can see there, all the injector codes are stored. So after I had done a, an ECU reconfiguration, all these injector codes went to seven A's, right? So why that was, why I done that was I, I got rid of my EEPROM code. So when I went back via the, the snap-on tool, or even the Delphi tool to recode the injectors. I put the code in, hit done, it said it was programmed, but when I came back out, everything went back to AAA. So when I spoke to Stevie Patterson, he told me, try the Autel. He says, it's pretty good, very close to the Renault clip for doing this. So what the Autel does that's different from the rest, it puts injector codes in, and then you hit OK at the, the end. So it's putting all the injector codes in, and that is a secret. You want to batch and pour all your injector codes, and that then clears the codes at the back end. So that was a secret. So, but I'll show you how to reconfigure it. Is it in? I'm going to diagnosis. So, going to control units, going to injection. I don't know why this didn't work like this the first time, but well, had a low battery. So it was in. See this erase. I'm sure it's. Is it erase on that? Let's see. So. This would be exactly the same, erase the program values, or the, one of these two, so that wipes everything out, and you have to put your injector codes back in. So that was the only solution here, let me see, just to prove there's no codes came back in. So there we go. So man, I've been at this days, trying to get this to work. But uh, it just proves, I mean I was ready to buy Renault Clip, but it just shows you the hotel's up for it, so. So all I can say is, hope that helps someone out there. If you need to re-encode the injectors, you have to batch encode them. And I wanna, and the snap-on tool was not up to the job. Neither was the Delphi, but there you go. Uh, the other thing I've got to see, let me see live data. I still cannot get the boost pressure to read here, main signals. Atmospheric pressure, water, computer supply, voltage, uh, vehicle idle rest. See engine torque, see that figure's going up. Uh, back, all signals, uh, preheater, fan motor, brake pedal. So there's clutch pedal pressed, so that's fine. 
using injector codes. There you go, yes. EGR. There's the boost pressure. Boost pressure, there we go. There's not any boost pressure, sure. Oh, that was a wild goose chase, that, so I don't know how it works with boost pressure. Pressure, but at the end of the day, I'm really no caring. I've got that light off, and that was my job that I had to do, so. Uh, no read codes. Uh, live data. Parameters. So EGR, current boost pressure, engine flow. Accelerator position. Real pressure, boost pressure. See, still nothing under boost pressure. But the guy who owns the van says it goes fine. All he was wanting was a light out for its MOT. 